Hi everybody, I'm going to talk about the only 2 by 2s in my comparison and what, what you should get first. And some other kind, other 2 by 2s which I tried, which is one other. Okay, first off I'm going to start out with the Moe Linko. The Moe Linko is a crunchy, um, faster and good for beginners. Really, the some of the flaws I feel like having is um, it sometimes locks up, and I feel like it's not that um, it kind of locks lacks corner cutting like this. Here I'll show you it. So this is forty five degrees. I know a lot of ki um um two by twos could do that, but this one just makes like a mess until you like yank it hard or you have to set it off a tiny bit to the side to to the left or right or some or like to the um or anti clockwise so you can get it to reverse corner cutting is like meh like it's okay but just like you can see that you have to like set it off or something it kind of only corner cuts on the floor the floor the floor and cuts and let's see how fast I could do a T perm on this cube and compare it to the other one. I do not have a timer, but I feel, but I could just tell by just seeing. Like, so this is just me doing a T perm. And that was kind of fast. And let's do a Y perm. I'm not good at Y perms. See, it kind of locks up sometimes, but it's very good for a beginner. When I got this, it was like the like the holy grail of Rubik's cubes of a two by two, and a lot of people like this cube. And the sticker shades are good as well. Any kind of sticker shades is good with me, unless they don't like cheap. Okay, the next cube is my main, just for like it is a good cube. This is the Diane Zanchi 2x2. I can go on of how good this cube is. The only flaws I have with it is that when I got this cube, who a kid named Caleb in the, like 7th grade when we were at a play, um, because I had my Pyraminx, which is right here. Please do not fall over. Right here. And I think another cube, I forgot what it was. So, he literally, stop, no, I'm recording the video. Anyway, he literally came up to me and just did this. Solve it. Solve it. And then I was like, all right, I'll try. I'll try. I'm trying to put this back so hard. No, do not fall over, please. It's my only chance. Do 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 do. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my barrel cube just died. Rest in pepperoni barrel cube, dollar store barrel cube. But the, it kind of popped on on me a lot. And this is when I was just a noob at two by two. I I kind of like got like ten minutes on this just this where people can get uh, under a half a second it took me 10 like minutes to solve this and i needed like a paper for a paper of algorithms and my friend walter um who knew how to solve it who's had just has a rubik's 2 by 2 which i could get like the rubik's 2 by 2 is so bad don't get it but this has excellent corner cutting, 45 degrees, and flawless. 
a reverse corded cutting, decent. Touche. It's buttery smooth and good. And it's, I think it's really better than the Mo Ling Po, which I think it actually looks a little bit cheaper than this. And, and funny thing, the Caleb, when he said, ah, man, you can have it. I wasn't, really, I didn't really like his key, but anyway, he, I said, okay, so which brand was this? And he said it was Shangsha. And, and it's like, and I can just say, bruh, it's obvious, but I didn't know about that, but until I knew there was a Diane, and it was better to be smooth as a Diane. And then, oh, oh, look, there was a sticker, or like the clear thing, of the logo of Diane. But anyway, um, the, but there's two flaws. One of them is non-existent anymore to me, but, um, the non-existent flaw, um, bad flaw, um, was that it popped a lot, but I tensioned it and we, like, did this again, and, but the flaw is, look at, hear this, okay, wait, so where's the, microphone that is spring noise right there Sometimes. Um, but this is a very good cube I it, like a lot of people like go for the money ring po maybe it's because I don't think so or maybe they think the the this popped a lot on them, or or just bring noise or both. Maybe it's because they liked it to be crunchy. They liked it, eh, and they didn't like the spring noise, which kind of annoys me. To time to time, it's like, do I have to throw like a freaking like 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 a tam temper tantrum it's, it's like if masse or like whatever the guy's name the kapowski or kapowski or masse or kapowski um did this and then he's like hearing a lot of spring noise he's like yay and just throw a temper tantrum and stuff like that it's like no like I can live with that. A lot of people don't like it, but does it look like? But if it's like a super good, you, would you really rather be deaf than just hearing this? But and it's way quieter, except for the. But not. It's like when you bring, like you could get used to it. A lot of people will too. But over. Okay, so let's talk about the other kind of 2 by 2s which are not speed cubes, like, like the Rubik's 2 by 2 It was good at first, but really, like, Rubik's Cube let me down. Like, seriously, there is, like, when I try to assemble it again, it's like if you're just like this, just like the Diane. If you, if you ever play with a guy and you'll know sometimes it pops. Um, it's not like, 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 if it's like an eternal pop comes on. And if it, like, if, if a pop goes on, you could just put it back on and together and stuff like that. Same with the explosion, but but if there's like only one piece that came off this, you could just put it back, like on a, like a Diane or a Moyu. This only popped at me once, which that's good, but this has popped on me zero times since I have um a re uh, uh, assembled it again, reassembled it for so long. It was in a bag for so long.
Um, but, but if that happens to you with a, a Rubix, well, guess what? When you put it back together, it, it like the next few turns you do, it, it, it pops again. It looks like most of the corners come off. And because if you only, if only one, guess what? You would have to take apart the core. You would have to take apart a lot of things. And the only thing that takes me off well, there's a lot of things that ticks me off about it, but do not get the Rubik's too by two unless you have a collection. Because I would like, and you know, cubes do not have to be good for your collection. Like I saw a Rubik's Jr. at Toys R Us and I wanted it because for my collection, in the Cubics tube. But that rounds up of what you should get. I prefer the Diane. But tighten it up if you could, if you do this and it's a little loose, tighten it, of course. Don't be a lazy slob and just say, it's fine. Because next time you'll experience a pop, which you don't want to do. So these are both good for beginners. Diet is better for me. That's my opinion in general. But anyway, guys, this was my review of the two um speed cubes well the only two by twos in my collection thank you all for watching um i will see you next time smash um i hope you hit that like and subscribe to my channel seriously please um and comment down below uh, if this this helped you and i will see you next time Bye bye